rain. We have tonight, though, so. We have tonight. And some winners can still come watch it play tonight. I guess the uh, how does it work? With tickets. If you if you have tickets for Monday, you can use the same tickets for Tuesday for most most people. If, if you won tickets with us, if you didn't go and get soaked last night, you can come watch. Yes, George tonight. Yes, we got tweeted yesterday. His name's Herbert. Uh, I was disappointed that Russick at Russick SN590 never got to Ball Boy after I paid for and sat through the rain delay. I did tweet out that I wasn't going to be there though earlier in the day. I really wanted to watch you, that guy. Well, I appreciate the support. Yeah. Do you? Back on the horse tonight. You excited? Great match, dude. Who is it? Sloan Stevens and Dominika Sibokova. Didn't uh, didn't Sloan Stevens didn't she, didn't she just win her first uh, her first tournament ever? Yeah, I like Sloan Stevens. The Sloan Ranger. <laughs> Come on, is that her name? Yeah, so they named me uh, so Brad Gilbert calls her the Sloan Ranger. She's a good player. And who's this other girl? Dominika Sibokova. Try spelling. She's all right. Try spelling that one. Johnny. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that goes tonight. George is doing that. If you want to redeem your tickets, I think, or just get in touch with someone here, and we'll figure it out. I guess it wasn't. George is all upset. She's like, "What do we do about the listeners? They're all showing up." And I go, "That's not our job." I think that's that's concern. promotions in tennis Canada's job and Rogers Cup people's job, and they do a great job. Very organized. And they were, they were in touch with George yesterday, so I saw these emails flying back and forth uh, with the weather and the update, and here's what's going to happen, we think this is going to happen, so just kind of hang in there. Uh, anyway, it's going to go again tonight, in case you're wondering. Phil Jackson. How many NBA championships is going to win? 10, 11, 11, 11. Uh, Phil Jackson had some comments about one Andrea Bargnani, former number one draft pick and uh, former Toronto Raptor, yes. I think we right need, need some Italian music when discussing. I don't disagree with Andrea you, Andrea. you get that straight ass man. Come on, Brett, right now, immediately. Right yesterday. I'm not starting this Bargnani thing until uh, you get Brett, right away. Super now. You're no. holding up the show. I can't do this thing without Italian music. I expect his own professionalism from Ryan Maud, but not you. You're the Bretsky. Oh, wait, all Does this happen on Does Blair wear, wait wait for you when you off his show? Okay. Oh, hey? Blair show. I yeah, yeah, he does. He would lose it right now. If you didn't have Italian music for Blair, he would go nuts. Like Broadway style. I'm not impressed. <sighs> I, everybody's waiting for their Barnani music and you're letting everybody go. Okay, there we go. That's not Italian music, that's 50's big band. Oh no. There we go. Uh, Knicks President Phil Jackson apparently very happy to see Andrea Barnani signing a two-year contract for the league minute with the Brooklyn Nets earlier this summer. What if he's just worried that the suck is so close to New York that it'll bleed into the Knicks organization yet again? Jackson, remember when Andrea Bargnani last week heard you the story? He's like, uh, the problem was it was uh, too cold and uh, I went from parking garage to parking garage and uh, <laughs> that was tough because of the fumes in the underground. So I suck. <laughs> uh, exhaust to get to my brain, uh, shoot three on the wrong net. <laughs> no big deal. Made me soft. Not what to care, but the basketball. That uh, one highlighted him play defense. He didn't jump in one wrong way. Yeah. We're going to just clip out the You know, when you play D, you just go straight up, you jump up with your arms up in the air, but usually there's guys in front. There wasn't a guy within 15 feet, and he wasn't even facing the net. <laughs> Let's post that on your. Uh, Sure. Anyway, uh, Phil Jackson, widely regarded as maybe the most brilliant coach of our time. Although he did fail in New York this year. Says he was super happy to see Barney, uh, Andrea Bargnani go. And in uh, installment of ESPN's The Phil Files, he said he wasn't the biggest fan of the former Raptor. Quote, A.B. was and still is a big tease. When he was injured, he refused to do simple non-contact activities uh, like dummy our offensive practice. 
He seems to be a malingerer. <laughs> hey, you can call me a lot of things. Don't you ever call me a malingerer. Or, I don't know what it means, but it sounds good. Yeah. This can't be great. And he had a bad effect on the team. And also the way Knicks fans reacted to him, Barniani, the number one overall pick for 2006. So a couple seasons in New York, making about $24 million in the process. Uh, he had uh, 13.9 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 block per game in 71 total appearances with the Knicks. You would think that's not bad for a journeyman, right? That's, those are pretty decent numbers. He's the first overall pick. Uh, good. Uh, his stint with the Knicks was a surprise, surprise, considered a bust, saying, quote, this is Jackson again. When he was on the court, he had a hard time staying intense, didn't hustle back in offense to defense transition, wasn't active enough in defending screen rolls. Still, his offense is perfectly suited to the triangle because he really doesn't have to work very hard to get shots. <laughs> what a shame. I always thought his first year, people will forget, his first year in Toronto, he was actually good. Like, there was optimism surrounding this guy. Man, that's you didn't know, right? Well, he hit some, he, he could hit the three, he had a couple games where he had like, you know, Outside. 38, 42 points, six assists, but he never, he seemed to never really break a sweat game this year, too. Well, he was supposed to be the next Dirk Nowitzki, and he is, but if Dirk Nowitzki was bad, really bad. He's Jerk Nowitzki. Hey, oh. Uh, saying, quote, he's another guy we renounced, A.B., Andrea Bargnani, will always be somewhat of an enigma. And apparently, one of them malingerers. Or I like when the Knicks released his highlight film for this year, and people were upset on Twitter, Nick Banks, for just what highlights. Yeah, where did she get those highlights from? Right. <laughs> All these fictitious highlights you're sending out. And now I guess a lot of Knicks fans are hoping their latest top draft pick isn't the next Andrea Bargnani, right? They took that kid for Zingus or something yes. like that. Christophs for Zingus. Everyone booed <laughs> at the NBA draft. But, you know, the same kind of thing. Everybody, there's a lot of upside with that guy. Everyone loves when you draft a player the word project. Everyone loves that like word. Like Bruno that's a project. You'll see him in Mississauga this year. Yeah, the 905. What? Malingerer. I'm going to break this word down for you. Idler. Layabout. Loafer. Well, malingerer. Sounds like George. Uh, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Although he's, he's doing double duty today, right, George? He's doing like, uh, he's doing the updates today because uh, Kayla's not well. And uh, so he's doing that, and he's doing George's News, which is traditionally him finding a clip, playing it, and looking at us and going, huh, funny? Yeah, pretty much. Now we come to Mullinger. Yeah. If you're Andrea Bargnani, though, are you not just yearning for the Italian coast at this point with all that money? Are like, you not going, hey, listen, I'm just embarrassing myself at this point. I don't need this anymore. I don't need to get verbally abused by fans in the New York region. <laughs> Care. Like, just go, but maybe he doesn't understand. Stand English, be better. Andre, you hear what they're saying about you? I <laughs> don't understand. The word of it, I, I'm a malingerer. So I haven't bother, bothered to learn the language. So you say what you like, it doesn't bother me, right? All they're saying to me is blah blah this, blah blah that. You still get paid by free.